263 medical workers will be exported to Trinidad and Tobago once cabinet approves the memorandum of understanding signed between the two governments. Of these, 100 are midwives, 20 are registered nurses, 15 physicians, 15 gynecologists, 15 pediatricians, among others. The Foreign Affairs Permanent Secretary, Ambassador James Mugume, confirmed to NTV that this is a move by the government to find employment for medical officers and an opportunity to develop the health sector, rather than looking at it as brain drain. If they go for two years and come back, it's a small dent in the number we have of 57,000. And we know we have about 20,000 or so who have got qualifications but have no jobs. 45% of the medical workers who have been shortlisted will be shopped from public health services, while the rest are from the private sector or are unemployed. If you're working, say, in Mulago, Department X, the head of the department will indicate that your departure will not cripple. Your departure will not cripple the department. The government's plan to export these medical workers is not without criticism. This, this person in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has even shortlisted Dr. Andema Alex to leave Moroto Hospital and he goes to Trinidad and Tobago. I wanted him to come and tell Ugandans after selling Andema, may I call it selling, who is going to Moroto Regional Referral Hospital to cater for those Iru Karamajong who will need health professionals. So, but for government now to be involved in exporting health workers in the brain drain which should be fighting is very unfortunate. Mugume, however, insists that such critics are speaking from a point of ignorance. But these people are working. That's true. It's a rotation, people. If I want 20 nurses and there are 50 who are unemployed, if five go to Trinidad and Tobago, I will hire another five. That's how employment goes. He, however, underscored the need for government to increase the health budget to attract hundreds of unemployed health workers being churned out every year. Cabinet is expected to debate the proposal and decide whether to give it green lights or not. That proposal is, however, being challenged by the Institute of Public Policy Research Uganda at the High Court. The organization filed an application in December last year, seeking to block the government from proceeding with the recruitment. The doctor-to-patient ratio in Uganda stands at one doctor for every 24,725 people, while there is one nurse for every 11,000 people. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.